I served for three years, 67 through 70, during the Vietnam era. I was a, a, a meteorologist, a weatherman, and I loved being a weatherman. But I came down with an eye disease, and I didn't go to Vietnam, fortunately, but I ended up losing my vision. And uh, I had 20-20 vision before that, and it was very, very challenging for me. Uh, I just got lucky somewhere down the road, and I fell into a few supportive environments, and I managed to recreate my life as a person without sight. It wasn't easy, but I did. I made a 52-minute movie. It's a documentary film. It's called Why Can't We Serve? And it's my best attempt to try to help reduce the number of veteran suicides taking place in our country. And every day, 22 vets are finding reasons to take their lives, and it's not okay. When the soldiers come back with wounds from combat or on-the-job injuries, they have a disability and they're forced to leave the military. They get a disability check, but they are crushed because they have a desire to remain in the military, to serve, to have a purpose, and to have a connection to that team. I went through seven years of hell when I lost my vision and, and I left the military, and I didn't know which way was up, and I know that these guys and women are suffering greatly. But if they could remain in the military at a non-combat job, and there's half the jobs now in the military are done on computers, there's no rational reason why that couldn't happen. The veterans, when they come back, even though there's a lot of programs for veterans, there's a bridge that we need to build to help them reconnect to civilian life. And it's not built yet.